Dang it, once again, I forgot to unmute. <laughs> Let me type that in there. So, <laughs> sorry about that, Carla. Um, I mute because when I stop streaming, it'll stop the stream immediately. So what I do is I mute it and then just let it play until I see it catches up online. So um, what I had said was I'm not being brand. I can't remember. I'm not going to stick with one brand. I'm using, I'm going to use this stencil right here. It's a crafter's workshop. It's one of my favorite ones. I've had it for a long time, as you can see. Um, so I, I'm wanting to use that. I also have my Deco Media Sprays. Um, because I want the look of the inky stuff, but I want it to be permanent. So there's that. And I got my big needle out. Don't know if I'm going to be sewing on this one, but it might be fun. Um, and let me grab some of this. And it just so happens, because I use so much turquoise, I have some fun stained pages with turquoise on them. That's pretty. Let's use that one. And all these are is, like, if I have leftover ink or whatever, I'll lift up my canvas and when I'm doing runs, and I'll just take my book and just smear it across because you end up with pretty stuff like that. So we have that. I have this on my desk, so this is what we're using for glue. Um, it's decoupage from Americana. So hopefully you guys are hearing me now. Let's see. Let me type in here real quick. All right. I'm such a dunce. I always think to myself, remember to unmute, remember to unmute. I always, I... So I'm loving these colors. I love turquoise and brown together anyway. And by using this paper, I'm bringing in some warmth in it. Actually, I'm gonna do some of this first. I'm just, like I said, in my, in the, what is it, the bio or whatever of the video, I just am keeping the word angel in my mind. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm super thirsty. I'm just keeping angel in my mind as I'm creating this. I don't have a set plan. Um, this is one of the ways I like to use this. So I'm just spraying water through my stencil. And I'm keeping it very flat. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that. I can't lift it up or it'll mess it up. And because my, I'm horrible. I don't clean my, my nozzles after I use them. I'm just naughty like that. I really should. I'm just putting a little bit of black in there. And I got crunchies all over. We'll take care of that in a minute. Is this one spraying? There we go. My blue is spraying, so I'm going to come back. I'm like probably two feet away. Oops. And dang nabbit. I thought I cleaned it. And because I like turquoise and I am using turquoise, dang nabbit. I'm going to throw some yellow in that. I really need to invest in some eyedroppers. You can kind of see how some of it is really going in to some of that script and really, and some of it isn't, but I like it. All right, I'm gonna chase it. Actually, first I'm gonna first I'm gonna lay this back down. Where did I have it? There it is. I'm just gonna spray over it again, and it's gonna kind of spread it out a little bit. I want more yellow.
You know what's funny? I just realized this is the alphabet. <laughs> I have had this stencil forever, and I just realized it's the alphabet. Yeah, Carla, I just can't take the time to clean a nozzle. <laughs> I actually finally cleaned my um, nozzles for my delusion sprays last weekend, and that was only because, or was it the weekend before, my friend Shannon was here and had never used delusion sprays, so I had to clean the nozzles for her. I'm just kind of painting this in. I'm going to put a little bit of heat. I'm going to keep it far away because I don't want to melt my stencil. And the reason why I did that is I want some of the color to set. You know, but then I also want to blot some of it up. So I'm going to go right over top of this with my paper towel. And this stencil is well loved. It's just a really nice script stencil. Look at that. That's kind of cool. You can still see some of it. I'm not going to worry about stuff being too bold. I just want the right hues because a lot of times I end up doing a wash of gesso over it. So here comes the heat again. Oh, thank you, Carson. Carson. Car. Sundy. Cat's Life. Thank you for stopping in. I saw your comments. Thank you for them. I appreciate it. This is actually kind of pretty. I really like this. It has like a... Did I lock up? Oh, no. It kind of has like this cool feel to it. I'm going to have to keep looking to make sure I'm on. Let me move this up just a hair because I don't... Otherwise, I might keep on going out of frame. I had it set too tight. Ugh. There we go. Okay, that should work better. This is, I'm really liking this. You can kind of see the outline. You know what? This is still wet, so look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp this. And didn't do much. You know what? That's okay. All right, now we're just going to start gluing. We're going to glue it. I'm going to grab one of my lids. And from, was it, oh, I can't remember her name now. Um, last week when I did my Artist Seller blog post. Um, do I have the, I don't have it here. Um, the gal whose art I was looking at, whose name I just had in my head and I brain farted on. I should write these things down. I know how bad my memory is. I'm going to try to keep more straight lines in it because I, doing her, trying to, um, not trying to emulate her style a little bit, I realized that I kind of scoff at straight lines. So I'm going to try to keep some in here. Let's 
And this, oops, I need more. This kind of sucks because this is, um, well, this is matte, but it ends up shinier than I would really care for. But All right, get down there. I'm gonna get some of this in there. Like right here, there was some water soluble ink on that stencil. And you can kind of see it so that way I can use this piece that has that pink in there. I might not put that dark brown in there. Now I'm kind of wishing I wouldn't have tore it off. Oops. All right, I just decided mid glue down that I changed my mind where I wanted this. And there's no glue there. A lot of times I would use matte medium for this, but I'm running low. So um, and I may have a commission coming, so I want to make sure I keep supplies ready for that. Let's see, didn't I grab, I think I have enough lines. I think I might skip this one. I do like this brown though. I'm not loving that blotch right there, so I'll cover it up. And after I glue these down, I might do a thin layer of matte medium over top of it just to bring down the shine a little bit and to help me get some adherence of stuff. I like that side better, but I love this area right here. I don't want to cover it up. Let's just no, because that looks too much the same. No, let's go this way. I try not to do too many like shapes. There, that'll look good there. In hindsight, that background would have been pretty cool on its own. I could have just stopped and said, done. <laughs> I'm not going over the edge today. I don't know why. Some days I do, some days I don't. I'm just having a don't day. You ever have one of those days where you know you slept through the night, but you wake up and you feel like you didn't sleep at all? That's me today. I don't understand why. Hmm. I want it to go a different, there we go, that might be good. There, let's interrupt that a little bit. And right now I'm kind of regretting because the more I look at this, putting the paper down, the more I'm liking the background I'm covering up. <laughs> Hopefully we have, like, my watercolors all... I don't hate it right now, but I'm kind of having some regrets. Looking kind of heavy on the one side, but we can work with it. I was going to bring those green stripes in. Um, maybe I still will. You know what? I don't want that to be the same way as the other one. Hmm. 
No, I don't think I will. Now what's funny is I keep them this way, so just because I'm going to go against what I like, look at me, I'm going to go crooked. I'm going to crooked it right up. Right there. Right where I don't want it, I'm going to put it. <laughs> just because I'm going to live on the edge. All right, now I'm going to go away from a curved edge. I'm just going to put a blob of color right there. Kind of looks like a heart, doesn't it? I am still keeping this because I really like this area right here. I think it's pretty. And now because I covered up that peak, I can put another one back in. that let's do it worst that can happen is I covered up with gesso like when I watercolor I say the worst that can happen is I don't like it and when I'm doing mixed media is the worst that can happen is I covered up with gesso <laughs> all right I think that's good I think that's good some heat actually there we go oh there we go I'm just lifting edges making sure everything's sticking if it doesn't I just rip it off because the worst that can happen is I glue it back on oops there we go all right let's throw some heat on there get it dried out no rhyme or reason to this I see nothing yet which means I need to add more color which means I should have moved stuff out of the way so I can get my ugh, my cart over here I really do need another cart or two I end up because I end up just piling stuff around my chair so I can reach down and get it and yeah it's horrible it's really bad Shall we stick with the turquoises? Since I have it right here, look at this, I have it right there. So let's have some fun with this. I'm loving, I'm loving the loose feel of this here. So I'm just gonna go with that. Ugh. I'm just gonna pop some of this down. I know I already had my glue there. Ooh, I'm, I'm running low. Just see that little tiny drop? Just tiny, tiny drop. There we go. And then we get like a really, this is a really, really soft brush that's about to fall apart. I'm going to wet it too. I'm going to pick up the color and just add some stuff on there. Ugh. 
Oops, come on, you. It's getting sucked into my brush. It's going on kind of like a watercolor would. It's really transparent. Let's see about this. Oops. Oops, I just turned it off. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's not good. I think I just sprayed water into my motor. Oh, no, I didn't. It's on the wire. Okay. All right, let's drip it. Oh, that's beautiful. Are we done? Always turquoise, Carla. Always. I'm kind of a dingbat. I have, pretty sure I have some turquoise Indian ink here. I'll put my hand here so you know I'm still in here. Ooh, I forgot about. I have my inks there. Ha ha ha! Teal. I have teal. This is India ink. So it's a little bit darker. Oops, did not mean to do that. Oh, ho, ho, that's beautiful. Since I'm going to mess over there, I'm just going to take this and pick it up. There we go. Now throw some water on it. Oops. And shut the book. <laughs> that's what I do. All right. I'm getting some turquoise overload. Anybody else? There we go. That's pretty. Okay, Beth. <laughs> you can listen later for my hello. Alright. Got some of that going on. I think I might actually want some white splashes in here. That's the one color of the media spray I wish I would have gotten is white. Um, actually, I don't even know if they have it, but if they don't, they should have it. Let's see. I do have, I do have this, but it's almost out. I don't even know. It's a Higgins ink. It's drawing ink. I don't know. It is waterproof, so let's see what happens there. Ah! I think it's clogged up. I've been in a spatter craze lately. I think it's from doing um, watercolor so much. You get used to the loose feel of everything. Even though I am kind of controlling when it comes to my watercolors. Okay, that should work.
There we go. I've been thinking about, because I've noticed a lot of people watch later, I've been debating doing another live stream later on in the day. But my only thing is it gets, my studio gets so hot in the afternoon that I'm, one, I would be miserable. And two, um, my computer might overheat. So that's the thing. Here's something that happened that's funny. Um, like, you know how you... People that you haven't talked to in years show up on Facebook, you know, and you friend request them, you know, you're all nosy and their stuff. So this one person um, that I recently became friends with, I won't say male or female, um, I know from high school, actually sent me a private message the other day and said, wow, I didn't know you were an artist. If I would have known you were an artist. I wouldn't have thought you were so weird. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> but what does that mean? Somebody wouldn't have thought I was so weird if they would have known I was an artist. It made me giggle. And this is a neat sepia. So when it goes through the white, it's going to lighten way up. I wish you could see this. It's my favorite part of doing drips is watching them fall. This one is a bit much. This area right here is a bit much. Hmm, I'm liking that. Let's chase it with some heat and see what we end up with. Oh, thank you, Jemalu. mostly dry. And remember how yesterday I said I needed a new roll of paper towels? Notice how I forgot to get one? But look at how pretty this is getting. Imagine this glued down somewhere. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it! Alright. I think we are golden. We are golden, my flower. Now it's time for some stencils. Sometimes I'll do more stencils underneath, um, but this time I didn't. Okay, and like I said, I just grabbed willy-nilly. I did not pay attention to what I grabbed. So I have some that are already here. I have, um, this is Japanese Geometric. I have the Mark series. I have the Labyrinth series. Um, 
Actually, I think I want to bring this one back in. I'm really liking this one today. So I'm just going to use this to add some more white in. But I'm going to only use the small script right here. Dag but I'm drinking too much water. I might have to take a break in a minute just to use the pate. Because it's almost party time. Okay, where'd I put my gesso? Shanda. There it is. And I know it's weird, but I like to use gesso when I'm adding the white in. You can use paint, but... I'm going to have to get more gesso pretty soon. I'm actually going to use a pouncer. Alright, where's my pouncer? There it is. Just like so I'm actually doing some real stenciling. Oh, Let's see. Hi, Goldie. I'm glad you're here. Hello, Rose from Portland, Oregon. Wow, I'm feeling super popular today. It. I'm thinking you guys like watching mixed media more because I seem to have more of an audience and people stopping in when I do mixed media. But like I said yesterday, somebody asked why asked me about it. Um, with mixed media like this. I just get in a groove, you know, and I can, I can do work on a piece for hours. Whereas when I do the watercolors, usually it ends up being about an hour. So it's kind of controlled. Let's see. I like this XYZ right here. Actually, let's do the W. All right, I want to move this up. Because like I said, I want to keep the font smaller. Actually, let's turn it upside down now. Let's just live life on the edge. Let's just really do it, okay? All right. Yeah. That was wet gesso I just ate. And I'm just smooshing it in there. Let's see. Is there anywhere else we need something? See, and when I smoosh it, you can kind of see it, but you can't. I'm not worried about exact beautifulness. Ooh. Son of a biscuit maker. I want to get some middle of the alphabet in here. Let's just put that right there. And I'm not even worried about messing up my wet stencil paint right there. Not going to worry about it. Because that's just just me because if you worry about it then you're gonna stress about it and then what fun is creating Ooh, I doubled that one up okay all right so all I'm gonna do is make sure I'm horrible with my stencils all I do is make sure everything's flat and I don't end up with any like too much buildup like I did here I didn't check it out I'm gonna have to really clean that later but anyway that's from probably a year ago so I still have paint on here or gesso on here and I don't want to waste it so I'm gonna take a look hi Christine um, I'm gonna take a look at this and I use my camera a lot to kind of look at things and see like I'm noticing when I look at this this is a whole lot of dark right here. So I'm just going to put some light in. Just wherever. And a lot of this ink and paint and stuff that's on there isn't dry yet. I'm not worried about it. We're just having fun. And I'm still keeping 
angel in my head. So I'm thinking about angels and everything like that. And that way, like, if you keep on thinking about it, when you, like, I like to paint and just find things in my backgrounds. So if I keep on thinking angel, that's what I'm going to see. Does that make sense? Kind of trick myself into seeing it. I really like that blob right there. And yeah, I'm going to get my hands in there. Let me see. Sadly, even though I'm thinking angel, I see a horse right there. But I'm not going to go through with it. <laughs> so this is a little bit dark right there. And this is just all about the joy of making something and getting your hands dirty. I'm like passionate about when I love, like, it makes you feel like a little kid for a little bit, you know? And right now I'm like blurring my eyes. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know if I'm the only one, but you know when you like kind of daydream and everything just co kind of goes out of focus? That's kind of what I'm doing is just, and I should be wearing glasses, but I don't because they give me motion sickness. So I'm just relaxing my eyes so everything's kind of blurry and just looking at the color and seeing where it needs to be broken up a little bit. And see this right here? I think I need more of that. I need more of this in here. So I gotta figure out what I can do to bring that in. And this is too dark. I'm purposely not sopping my brush. I'm just kind of leaving my marks random in there. So I gotta find that color. Now, what would that color be? Ooh. Let's see. Could it be? This is transparent red oxide. This might be close. just put some of that out there that's looking mighty close and since it's gonna be transparent that might be very pretty or it could suck I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it make it more transparent it's a little bit more rust colored but we can fix that oh actually I have a more pinky one Where is it? there we go so I'm taking the primary magenta. I'm just gonna put a drop in there. And just bring that color up. Oh, there's a little bit of, there we go. That's a little bit closer, isn't it? Maybe one more drop. I'm thinking I want to put this on with a stencil, but there, this is nice. This is from the Coral series over at Artist Cellar. And I hope you guys notice that I only push products I love. <laughs> I'm not a, I mean, there's actually, there's a couple stencils over at Artist Cellar that I don't care for. Oh, see, that's really wet, but that's all right. It is a little bit orange, isn't it? Dag nabbit. Let's just stamp. Let's see what happens with that. Actually, I got some on my hand. Oh, am I going off? 
went off camera again. Sorry. See, I don't know if I like that color. Can I move that? Downfall of Gesso, the paint sticks to it fabulously. <laughs> We're going to pretend we love it. And later when somebody goes, oh, that's my favorite part, you go, yep, I totally meant to do that. Totally. Let's pick more of that up. Okay, I think that kind of brought some in. I'm going to kind of scrub a little bit of that off. Now I want more blue. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. What oh what could we possibly do here? I'm going to drink a lot of. Let's see. This little area right here, see that? How bright and bold and you have all that white in there? Just that little spot reminds me of um, Southern Gal Design, Tiffany Goss Smith. I love her. She's a sweetheart. Um, she does a lot of cool journal entries with cool bright colors and with the white in there. And yeah, she, she's awesome. You should go check her out too. Hmm. See, now I want more white. But, but, what am I going on here? This might be close enough. And I am just like throwing caution to the wind and putting all my paint on the same little palette. Because, you know what, I'm living on the edge. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, I want a bigger brush. Actually, I want... I want, I want, I want a really crappy brush. So, I like to keep these loose bristle brushes. Like, these fall apart so I don't paint with them very much. And then I really pull them apart like that. See that? Actually add some water. There we go. Just a tinge. And see how it's just on the tips, kind of. If you play it right, it can kind of look like spatter. But these are just like the cheap ones from like, um, I think these are from the dollar store or something. on that one. Okay. Oh, a fish? Yeah, this right here I see a fish too. <laughs> but I'm doing an angel. So I'm thinking angel today. And, well, holy Hannah, I think I see my angel. But the only problem is sometimes, like right now I see an angel. But she's so far off the page, like if you can see, here's her head. And her eye, her head is tilted. Her eye line is this way. And then here's her neck, and then there's a wing right there. But it's so far down. I want something more centered. And I actually see a little head here with a neck. It's like a long cape dress. But I'm not seeing what I want to see quite yet. So I'm just going to keep going. Oh, and that was Libby who said she saw the fish.
And I think we might have a happy accident because this paper is buckling up a lot. I don't like it, so making it a happy accident, I'm just going to peel it up. Oh, and it's peeling that up. Oops. It's because I got too wet too fast, so the under part couldn't dry. And it's just the top layer of that paper coming up, dag nabbit. So, to remedy that, let's do some finger painting. I got some blue. Uh, dang it, I don't have any more. I'm going to have some magenta. And then a little bit of white. That might be a little bit too much white. Let's get rid of the paint off our hands. And this is too magenta. This needs to be turquoise. See, look at me. Just caution to the wind. There we go. Now that changed the page. <gasps> I think I see her. I see her. All right. Let me take a look and make sure I see her here too. So what I'm seeing for my angel is you see this kind of line here that comes up but and then there's an, a wing here I think I want to tone down the color on this a little bit though you know what I think I might do is um, like I said before I do need to use the facilities so I'm gonna take a five minute break or a minimum of a five minute break. Um, I'm not sure if I should leave it running. You know what I'll do? Just because I've had so many issues with my system being poopy, I'm thinking I'm gonna, um, I'll just take a break because it's been about an hour, restart my computer, just, to, just because that seems to help and then come back. That way I'll be able to use the facilities and be on my goldy way. Look at that straight line in there now. See, I'm seeing here too. Does that sound good? All right, so I'm typing right now. So I'm here just to let everybody know. So I'm putting, I'm going to restart my system to prevent my camera from being funky. It'll be less than 10 minutes. All right, so I'll be right back. So I'll rename this one part one. I'm not sure if it'll still let me add on to this one. But when we come back, we're going to do my angel. All right? 